Aloha, YouTube family. Welcome to Car Reviews JA. I am Jason. My wife and I, we're here at BMW Autobahn ATL in the city of Montego Bay, JA. We will be bringing to you this practical, stunning crossover compact SUV. This is the 2024 Mini Cooper Countryman. Here we have the key fob, you have the lock, unlock, trunk release, and we have the mini name at the back. Now let's take a look at the headlight housing. Now we have the kind of circular daytime running, LED daytime running lights. We have the LED headlight adaptive, and also you can see the mini name in the headlight housing. All right, and I like that they have the glass black around the headlight housing. Here we have the LED fog lights as well. Side ear curtain, so you know that helps with aerodynamics. And here we have the grill with opening, so you can pass through to cool down the necessary components. And I like how it's break up with the black and white. Loving it. All right, so the lower bumper area also have openings, so you can pass through. All right, and here we have the mini badge on the bonnet. Let's shout out Anthony T.Y. Young. He's a sales executive here at BMW ATL in Montego Bay. So if you're interested in the BMW products, you can check him out. Let's take a look at the side of the vehicle. So here around the wheel arch, we have flat black, which will take a better beating. The wheels and tire setup. So we have 17 inch, five spoke black alloy rims. The tires are Goodyear tires, 225, 55 series. These are all season run flats. Even with a puncture, you can safely drive up to 50 miles. The side uh, indicator, LED indicator light, and I love that kind of element. Here we have the chrome trim, goes right around the vehicle. Here we have the fully powered and the heated outside mirrors, and they're painted in glass black. On the lower bumper area, we have some like a nice aluminum touch in that black. It's really nice. I like I like this setup. I like I like this color breakup. You have the glass black on the window, the windows, and the uh, the roof is also painted glass black. And we have the silver roof rails. And guess what? We have a panoramic moonroof really nice everybody will be getting vitamin d let's move to the rear of this lovely suv of course the tire and the wheel setup same as the front this is a nice quarter panel window now let's move to the rear of the vehicle guys please to leave a comment let us know if you're liking these vehicles that we're reviewing if there's any other brands that you'd like to see please you can let us know as well though we've been looking on getting other brands to the channel but you know the channel is new so it's going to be harder to do so that's why i'm forever grateful to the manager and sales executive at bmw and audi i love these brake lights i love the way that they're designed really nice also i, I wanted to ask you guys would you like to see like um older vehicles used vehicles from the used dealerships let me know like the toyota vids the Nissan, no, the Hondas, you know, all those brands. Just let me know. All right. So here we have the rear view camera, the mini badge. I like this glass black. It just breaks up, you know, the the, the, the white. Um, we have the countryman name, stick on letters. We have one muffler here and a nice look at aluminum touch on the lower bumper area. And also we have the all the sensors, and the bumpers and at the front as well. Here we have the rear spoiler with the brake light in the middle and we have a shark fin antenna as well. All right, we have the rear wiper, really nice. And there we have the Cooper name also. And of course we have the reflectors that's required by law. Please feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Of course, you know we depend on your support for the channel to grow. All right. And of course, you know if a channel grows, then at that point it will be easier for us to get, you know, um, other brands on the channel. 
so here we have the door panel i like this nice glass black um strip that's the door opener we have the speaker below that controls the window of course and we have storage space and the cup holder in the lower area of the door all right that's the side seal um it's of course it's covered with the film it should be uh aluminum all right so these seats are comfortable these are leatherette black leatherette seats beautiful and we have the gray contrast stitching which enhances the beauty here we have the armrest two cup holders and the armrest is fairly soft all right we have the isofix anchorage for the baby seats so they have you covered there of course now we have two ac vents for the rear passengers and two usb a's the black sensor tech upholstery is really nice really beautiful of course here we have the panoramic moon roof and we have the gray fabric headliner beautiful now let's move to the driver's seat all right so uh, the fuel capacity in this machine is 16.1 gallons and you get 29 miles per gallon combined all right now we're at the front driver's door all the window controls outside mirror controls you have that nice strip of um glass black uh we have a lot of storage space in the lower portion of the door and also the trunk release button and here we have the speaker grill cover now to the side panel we have this nice aluminum strip of course it's covered by something to protect it um to the seats we have fully powered seats with two memory settings four-way lumbar support and it's leather wrapped with gray contrast stitching and they do feel very comfortable very comfortable mm -hmm. all right so this is a multifunctional leather wrapped sports steering wheel equipped with lane departure warning which notifies the driver about lane drifting all right with rhythmic vibration so if the car is drifting out of the lane the steering wheel will vibrate all right we have automatic headlights of course we have rain sensing wipers mm -hmm. and we do have a brake and a throttle as it's not a manual car otherwise you'll have three pedals for the manual all right so whenever i press the brake let me show you guys what i'm talking about so when i press the brake the start stop button illuminates all right press the brake now there we go now i can start the vehicle and i love the stop and start button i love the toggle switch um this i love it <clears throat> so here we have the oval shape 5.5 inches multifunctional digital instrument cluster display really nice um this is an armrest fairly soft you can open the top portion you have some storage space and of course the lower portion have storage space as well and this is the adjustable armrest all right so suits everybody so like when i'm short i just leave it in the upward position so my hand can reach it you know without any hassle right so here we have the controls for the infotainment system so you can control it with the buttons you can touch the screen also you can use the multifunctional steering wheel all right this is the shifter for the seven speed steptronic dual clutch automatic transmission here we have the toggle switches this is parking assist stop and start the auto stop and start feature you have the traction control and you have the sport mode all right and here we have the ac setup we have three climate zone controls for the ac so you have a dual for the front and uh, you have the rear also now this is the 8.8 .8 inch infotainment system with the central um, led ring 
and the color within the ring can be changed also this is the emergency light or emergency light really nice i like this i like the ring and the fact that the color can be changed also now here we have a storage space as you can see our wallet is right there we have a 12 volt and a usb c so they have you covered you can charge your devices so guys we must apologize um, we seem to have lost the footage all right so here we are at the cargo area we're going to take a look at the cargo space i've used the um key fob to open the trunk it's electric assist all right so here we have roughly 16 to 17 cubic feet of space um here we have a cargo net you can use it to keep things in place so it doesn't roll around in the trunk and here we have another elastic holder here we have a hanger so you can hang even grocery bags can be hung there here we have a spare and the tools to make the necessary changes we do have a 12 volt there you go so you can charge your devices if you're sitting at the back of the cooper we do have a ton new cover as well hide your stuff from nose all right so i was going to close it using the button but i'm going to use a key fob all right so you have to press and hold and we'll close it all right so you can close it by pressing the button or using the key fob all right now we're at the engine room so here we have a 1.5 liter twin power turbo three cylinder engine with 134 horsepower 162 pound feet of torque 0 to 100 kilometers per hour is 9.3 seconds and of course this comes in front wheel drive and you can also get it in all wheel drive all right so the two wheel drive weighs 3443 pounds and the four wheel drive weighs 3545 pounds of course the fuel uh, capacity is 16.1 gallons you get 29 miles per gallon combined all right so let's just run through a few of the safety features you have the eight airbags including side curtain and front knee airbags you have the tire pressure monitoring system active driving assistant with forward collision warning and lane departure warning you have the rear view camera rear park distance control sensors and the dynamic cruise control with braking function all right so this is just a few all right so we're now at the end of this review feel free to like share comment and subscribe to the channel would love to hear your feedback on how the reviews are going and uh, any constructive criticism you have for us please share and remember if you'd like to see the older vehicles older used vehicles like Toyota Vids, the Nissan Note, uh, Honda Fit you know vehicles like such please let us know because we'd like to cater for everybody all right now do have yourselves a blessed and wonderful rest of day week month year take care